new expression. Let's call this one whole, let's call this one tenth, and let's call this one hundredth. It would take 10 of these tenths to make one whole. It would take 100 of these one hundredths to make one whole. We'll call this a small cube. We'll call this a long. We'll call this a flat. Here's the expression. This is my first term. Terms are numbers that we add or subtract. This is my second term. Terms are numbers that we add or subtract. What is this expression? What is this value plus this value? If you said one and five tenths plus one and nine tenths, you would be correct. Let's go ahead and write that as an algorithm. This is one and five tenths. And I want to line up my decimals so that way I can line up my place values. Remember, when I'm adding decimals, I can only add like place values. Tenths with tenths, ones with ones. When I look at combining my like terms, I need to combine my tenths with my tenths. I can only add tenths to tenths. Take a moment. How many tenths do we have total? Go ahead and count them up. When I see five tenths add nine tenths, that's 14 tenths. 14 tenths means I have 14 groups of one tenth. And when I look at 14 tenths, that can simplify to 10 tenths plus four tenths. 10 tenths is equivalent to one whole. If I rename 10 of my tenths as one whole, here's one whole, here's four tenths. In order to show this in the algorithm, I need to go back and put four tenths in the tenths column. Don't forget to drop your decimal so that you can keep your place value straight. And I'm going to regroup my one whole into the ones column because 10 tenths is equivalent to one whole and that one whole belongs in the ones column. Now I can combine my like terms in the ones. One and one and one is three. I see one whole, two holes, three holes, and four tenths. One and five tenths plus one and nine tenths more is a total of 14 tenths, which is equivalent to three and four tenths.